So the plan is to take it in a little bit at the shoulders and to cinch it in a little at the back as well. So I'm going to use my seam ripper and my scissors to take out the padding. I'm going to start by opening up the armhole. And here I'm carefully unstitching and removing the padding from the blazer. As you can see with the padding removed, it's already a lot slimmer on the shoulder. Now I'm going to use my seam ripper to remove the sleeves from the jacket. This is just another angle of me removing the sleeves. Flip the sleeve inside out so you can see the inner seam of the outer layer of the jacket. I'm going to pin the sleeve to show how much you'd like it to be reduced by. This is a preference of how much you actually want to be taking the jacket in. So make sure to try it on a bunch during this phase to make sure you get a fit that you like. Now I'm going to flip the inside of the jacket out so that I can see again the inner seams of the outside of the jacket. I'm going to take in these three seams as much as I took in on the arms. Here's an aftershot of what the pinning is going to look like. Here's another angle of the pinning of those three seams. It's important here to not do sharp corners like in the first image, but to keep the lines rounded. Now we're going to sew what we pinned on the sleeve, starting with a base stitch around the edge and then just normal stitching on the two side seams. Now pull your basting stitch to get a gather at the top of the sleeve. I'm now marking where I'd like my new armhole to be placed. This will help make the shoulders a lot more narrow. Now I'm pinning the sleeve on my newly marked armhole. It's important to try it on a lot during this phase because you're not actually taking any precise measurements. Once you decide that it fits well, you can trim away the excess of the jacket as well as the lining, leaving one centimeter seam allowance. Now prepare your sleeve to be sewn by rounding out the edges as well as any extra fabric. Now pinning the right sides together of the sleeve and the jacket. Make sure you're not pinning any of the lining in during this step. Now with a regular straight stitch, stitch back the sleeve onto the jacket. Iron out all your new seams. Now flip your jacket inside out so we can get nice clear access to the back seam, making sure that the lining is out of the way. It's up to you how much you want to take in your back seam, just make sure that you're keeping the lines curved and there's no unwanted points. I'm just using a regular straight stitch to take in the back seam as well as trim away any excess fabric. Now it's time to reattach the lining. All the same alterations that were made to the outside layer of the garment should have also been made to the lining and if not can be done at this stage before reattaching it. With the first sleeve alterations, you can reattach the lining using the sewing machine, but for the second, in order to flip the garment right side out again, you'll need to hand stitch the lining closed from the outside. Now for the second arm, we're going to use the same measurements that we did for the first arm. So just marking where we placed the armhole on the first arm and using the same sleeve alteration measurements to take in the second sleeve. I'm not going to show these steps because it's the same as sewing the first arm. So I'm going to skip to trimming the excess threads, ironing and steaming out the jacket and you're all done.